guys, my name is Bella and today's video topic is about waiting yourself. Should you wait yourself or is it such a bad thing for your body or for your mental health to be waiting yourself every single day? All right, so let's tackle that in this video. I made part one, part two, and this is part three to the same topic okay and i know that this is extremely important because the number one thing on everybody's resolution list is to go train lose weight get healthy all this stuff and i mean probably not 100 percent of the population but most okay go check out all the lists around ask your family what's number one thing on your list okay most people will respond with this stuff okay losing weight a lot of people out there a lot a lot a lot a lot and i spoke about this in a different video of mine um guys there's a lot of people out there that tell you do not wait yourself. True, like I did that. Okay, but is here to say hi. I did that myself. Okay, so I just was like, oh, the right. You know, I'm a really good level. I've been training for so many years, and I've lost, you know, all the fat, and I've been competing back to back. I don't need to wait myself anymore. I just go to the gym and I train, I lift, and I'm good to go. Right? False. Okay. I gained more weight than I expected. So by the time I waited myself to go compete, okay, guys, and they don't weight us as a bikini bodybuilder. We don't get weighted to go on stage. However, you're going to be standing right next to, I don't know how many girls. It depends on the competition. It depends. But usually on stage, I mean, I don't know. Like, it could be hundreds of girls, okay? But you are being compared to all those girls. So if one girl is really, really, really skinny that shows up and all of you guys are actually heavier, she's gonna look like she's in a better shape than all of you, okay? Because she's skinnier. And I'm not talking about like skinny, like skinny fat. I'm talking about like skinny shredded, okay? If she's smaller, if she's smaller on the scale, let's put it this way, she's gonna look smaller on stage as well. Okay, so that being said, I looked heavier than most of the girls on stage. I look thicker, okay? So that was a big deal for me because if I wanted to go to uh, the next level of competing, and I know most of you don't know, but it's called nationals. If I wanted to go nationals and get my pro card, I actually have to be smaller. So now we're dealing with losing muscle, okay? And this is, this is a huge difference from a regular perspective of any regular human being. Yes, you would want to gain muscle versus gaining fat. Absolutely, but gaining is gaining. Okay, so it all depends on your goal. Like for example, I have friends of friends that do CrossFit because I don't have like, I, would, I wouldn't say that I have direct friends that do CrossFit. I'm not sure why, maybe because we just collide almost like because they see us as vain. Like we go to the gym to look good, right? Oh, I'm gonna work some shoulders, I'm gonna work this, I'm gonna work, right? They see us a little bit more vain and I don't disagree, we are vain. I mean, why would you go and train, right? Just to look attractive, right? Or you wanna go train to be strong. Or you want to go train to just be healthy, to have a good heart rate. To There's so many reasons why people train, right? And the reason I'm talking about today is to look good. I just want to be super clear, okay, to clarify everything out there. I'm talking about looking good. If you want to look good, you want to look small, you want to look shredded, you want to look tight, um, you want to make sure you're weighting yourself, regardless if you're lifting, if you're doing cardio. Because for me, for example, at a certain weight, I know how I look. Okay, and I know there's a, a bunch of people that are gonna attack me. I'm 100% sure about it, 100%. Because I have friends like that compete as well with me, and especially guys, of course, especially guys. They'll be like, oh, don't weight yourself, you know, uh, the blood weights more, this weights more, this weights more. Guess what, guys? I still look thicker. Yeah, I've been to the CrossFit Games, and I've seen the girls and the body shapes. The girls there, all they think about and all they care about is to look, to be strong. like. And I have nothing against that. They look amazing, if you ask me, but I would never do that to my body, okay? They look amazing because they look like they achieved a lot. They lift a lot. Like, I see them snitching and doing all this stuff. I'm like, oh my God, my bones. My bones hurt me just watching it. Do you understand? So that's why I'm saying this is geared to specific people. If you want to look a certain way, if you like to do hypertrophy, if you want to be small, like smaller, you don't want to grow bigger. Unless you just want to get big, it doesn't matter as long as it's muscle. Of course, ditch just ditch the skill, throw it out for all I care, you know, but if you are like me and you want to be on the smaller side, whether it's bikini or even like, I think it's called physique for guys, physique, the ones that wear body shorts on stage, they're the skinnier version of the others. So unless you want to be a bodybuilder, go for it. Eat whatever you want. As long as you're training and you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you see gains, that's all that matters. But for us, the people that do want to be smaller, 
the scale is actually our friend okay don't make it an obsession okay but make it like a guide like like a mother that you have that tells you hey uh you know that today um you messed up you left the door open unlocked or whatever okay, okay. i go up and down on the scale all the time all the time i'm never the same weight every day you know uh but it also has to do with uh, with what you ate the, the day before if you're weighing yourself in the morning it also has to do with how much water you drink um it also has to do with obviously your your water weight you know things like that so it keeps me within my range right you should give yourself a range that's what i didn't mention but you should definitely give yourself a range you'll be like okay for example i want to wait between 120 and 125 or 120 127 that's a good range why because seven pounds is literally nothing it's literally nothing. I know a lot of people say, oh my God, if I lose 10 pounds, oh my God. It's nothing. It's just, you could actually gain that in water weight overnight. So you want to actually think about it that way. Okay. So that's going to be your mom or your friend that tells you you forgot to do something. You forgot to lock your car. Um, that's the kind of uh, friend you need to look at with the scale versus um, just making it like, uh, like God. But it's definitely a really good guide. So my recommendation, it boils down to this right weight yourselves okay don't make it an obsession a disease but definitely weight yourselves okay i hope this video helped a lot guys this is my advice this is a precious advice i'm giving you okay so um i really hope that this is working because the reason why i decided to make this is because really i'm a fan of having an hourglass body shape um I do promote weight training, which I know a lot of people say, oh my God, it's such a bad thing. It is actually not a bad thing at all if you're doing it in the correct way. And I'll mention this in my other videos. So please guys, if you really do like my content, subscribe to my channel, hit me likes on my videos. It really, really helps me a lot. This is a new channel for me and I'm really looking to grow it and I'm really looking to help all of you out there. So I hope to see you soon on my channel. Leave me a comment, uh, whatever you guys are thinking. Thank you so much.